look at that. Manor Farm, linear fisheries in the middle of Storm Franklin, as you can hear. The last couple of hours has been absolute manic, it's been bedlam. This is 38 pounds, although I thought he was 48. Look at that belly. I've got his larger brother in the net waiting for pictures. Where else do you want to be in February? These lakes, they're full of these. Get it right, you get the bite, you get the result. Let's get him back and show you his big brother. Okay, now, you are a heavy little mongrel. Look at them, mate. That is beautiful, isn't it? Have a look at him. Second one of a mad spell this morning. 41 and a half pounds. Big bucket of Emp corn and 12 mere monster tiger nuts wang their way out there yesterday, which was very easy with this storm going ahead. Right over red, 25 wraps, little monster tiger nut pop ups, and the big ones are on it in this stormy weather. Manor Farm, linear, I love you. Let's pop him back because my arms are about to snap. Have a look at that, you absolute beauty. There you go, baby. No, go that way, bruv. Don't go near Dan's swim. That is bonkers, bonkers. What a lake. I've been coming up here, I think 25 years plus. When I first came up here, there was no shrubs on, on most of the lake. Most of the lakes weren't open. Look at it now. We've got seven day tickets, three syndicates. They're all full of whackers. You know, this trip alone, it just shows you what can be caught if you get it correct on these waters. They're clean lakes. There's facilities in the shape of toilets. You've got a tackle shop like no other. It does food, drink, milk, tea bags, you name it. But more importantly, it's full Every lake is full of whackers. When I first come up here, they were upper singles, low doubles. Now look at it. There is not a better day ticket complex for big fish in the country with the amount of variety of fishing you've got on site. Right. Third bite of a manic, mad spell on manor. 36 pounds on the nose. I'm going to call it a linear because it basically almost is, isn't it? So um, mental, just shows you. Bucket a good bait in the right spot, and in they come. So, <sighs> crazy. At two in the night, which I'll talk to you about later, but now this morning has been absolutely off the scale. Let's get her down and get her back. I get asked so many questions on social media after my trips about the results that I've achieved. How, when, where, what, why? Well, if you've downloaded the Catch app, when I'm on one of their venues, I get home, I'm in the cosy lounge at home, it's nice and warm, the dogs are there, Pringles, I will then download all the information that you require, okay? So you've only got to go on the app and you can see it all. The swim, the lake, the, might not say the range, might not say the range, the range, the bait, the rig, everything you're gonna need about the trip that I've just endured and obviously the results that I've had. So check it out on the app, and then you'll be able to follow where I've been. Well, they've all gone back. I'm absolutely plastered with that. What an incredible Really, from 1 a.m. through to now, well, to now, and it's what half nine ish or something, absolutely bonkers fishing. Uh, I had two in the night, sometime earlier, one or two o'clock, got down up. We've done a little bit of, of footage and, and some stills. 25 mirror, 
and a, 20, a lovely golden 28 pound common. Uh, the 33 pound mirror that, that I showed you on the mat, part of the fourth, it just went mental this morning. But look how tired I am, bless me. But what I've done yesterday, turned up, it's been fishing well on zigs, as, as St. John's. Didn't fancy that. Now, when I used to fish uh, the manor years ago, it always responded to these great big winds, although probably lesser winds than we've had, Storm Franklin. So whatever I've done, I've fished in this swim a couple of times in the summer uh, on events, 25 wraps at the tree, at the, the, the tree in front of the shop, um, whole bucket of my favourite emp corn and 12 wind monster tiger nuts. I've put a bag of maggots on the right and Rob with the ball of maggots. The other two have been monster tiger nut 12 mil pop-ups. Uh, and you've seen the result. It's been even Stevens really between the three rods. So two thirds of them have been on the Monster Tiger Nut and the maggot hasn't done as, I thought that would be the one, but it has spread them. But then I suppose when they're grubbing around, they're picking everything up. So, so far I've had six carp. I'm absolutely worn out. I've had no kip yet, but um, I'm going to drink this. Take no notice of that. The, the, the guys reckon I bought this myself. I did not, or did I? Um, anyway, I'm gonna drink this up. I'm gonna get a bit of spom out there and then I've got a few rigs to tie up. So um, what a great night's fishing. That's what you're coming here for. Get it right, and like I said earlier, and you get them bites. Bait is personal, very personal. For me, it's easy. Yes, I work for Dynamite Baits, but I've still got this mix that I use everywhere. I, most of my fishing is day tickets. So give it a go. A jar of it, this is an, you know, this will start a trip off. These are very prolific venues. Jar of what can only be described as the best hemp on the planet. Get rid of that. What carp won't eat that? The golden grains. Everywhere I go, literally, this is my standard spod stroke spod mix. Two tins of corn. Give that a bit of a, a kick around in there. It's already looking very inviting, should I say. But my favourite boilie on the planet. If I took this to Brighton Pier, I'm sure I'd get a bite off of some type of fish. So we'll have... There's about half a kilo left in that one. And to be fair, you've seen what's going on here. It gets bites. Feed them and you will catch them. Now that, I put out a whole bucket yesterday of this and we've ended up, we've got six bites so far over the top of it. This time of year and all. My winter, this one that we're in has been dominated by exactly what I'm showing you there and the amount of big feet, I'm just having a fun. We all have them red letter periods. Mine, thankfully, is at the moment. Now, when you stick on top of that, one of these little 12 mil monster tiger nut pop-ups, winner, winner, chicken dinner. In. This is out of the blue. It's holding its ground and all. Wow. Oh, come on. Turn, darling, turn. Come on. Turn round. Do you know what, though, talking to camera now? This is seven bites and six of the seven have all been initial drop backs, which is probably due to the braid really, because I'm and I am fishing it super tight. But they've it's unusual, usually they belt off. Come on, turn this way. I don't want to go too far out of there because I am a long way out anyway.
see another one on the monster tiger nut pop-ups which is very very pleasing there he is a little round ball on his lip chuffed with that right out of the blue he's a nice hard fighting 20 pounder lovely jubbly Out of the blue. I did set it down at 3.30, I'm gonna have a rechuck and um, 3.30 this one off. Another one to the Monster Tiger Nut pop-up, as you saw, 22 pounds. The average is dropping, but when they're this, look at him, absolutely beautiful. We don't care, it's another carp for the net. Happy as Larry, as they say. Size irrelevant, darling, you are beautiful. There you go, number seven, what a trip. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I get him back, get a new rig bashed up, stick some more bait over the top of it. Thank you. As you can see, I'm in the brown swim on Manor Farm. Now, why am I in this swim? It's February and it's cold and there's hardly anyone here which gives me the chance of getting in these pegs. It dictates a lot of water. We've had a lot of fish by being in these. This is a real sought after peg, as it is where Dan is in the muddy next door. Usually in the summer, it's a nightmare getting in these, but roll with it, but if you've got the Catch app, okay, and you're on your phone, you can book these pegs. On the booking system with Catch, you've got Manor Farm, Hunt's Corner, and the Tar Farm complex so any of them you can book a specific peg so now you can get the browns while you're sitting in manchester devon cornwall so if you're driving from the north down or you're coming up from the south you've no longer got to pull up run around with a bucket for hours looking for a peg that you might want to go in or might not you can book them so get the app check it out and from now on you know where you're going Why not? Yes. Oh, yes. But we're going to do it again. That landed like a lump of rock. I don't like that. Is now. Oh, yes. Lovely, lovely. Right, that time of day, we are losing the light. So I'm gonna wang out half a dozen. Ooh, didn't quite hit the clip, that one. Um, we're gonna wang out half a dozen of me mix. Over the rods, we're gonna leave the rods in position. It was the left one that went an hour or so ago, but now time to bait up. So half a dozen on the spot and we'll see what happens after that. It's about time I fed him. I haven't fed him since early this morning. What an incredible day. Uh, you know, if, if someone had said to me yesterday when we turned up, what I was going to catch throughout the night and this morning, and have one this afternoon, I'd have bit their hand off. So, um, fantastic days fishing. Um, the fajitas are in the pan. If anything happens in the night, we will film it. We have got lights and we will do that. If nothing happens in the night, we will see you in the morning. But I've put a load of bait out, like exactly the same as I did yesterday. Three rods are tight on it tonight instead of two. And um, I'll either see you in the night or I'll see you in the morning. 
That's a good one. Time for munch. Oh, Scott, you're a star. Good morning. Very tired. Um, last night, half past 12, I think it was, I woke my man up at a, a lovely, another linear actually, another linear at linear. 34 pounds, real chunky looking fish. The, I mean, you can see these are right on the munch, real full up belly on it, but a lovely, lovely fish. I mean, 50% of what I've caught is well over 30 pounds. This is day ticket angling. The night before I had a couple, last night I only bought one bite, but this time yesterday it was carnage. But this time yesterday you had Storm Franklin and the man has always liked a big win. Uh, it was smashing it to pieces. Today it's almost flat cut. Just shows you how, a, I was gonna say a small, but a, a change in conditions can affect the angling. It is getting more towards zig fishing, but I've caught a lot. I'm off in an hour or so um, and I'm not gonna move the bait. So I might just nick that odd bonus fish that will visit the area. I did put a lot of bait out yesterday and I really thought I'd get more than one bite, but one bite at 34 pound, there's certainly no complaints there. As they say, all good things come to an end. But a lovely couple of days and nights on the manor. Eight fish, all mainly, well, mainly 30 pounders with up to 41 and a half pound. You're not moaning about that in February, I know. Dan next door, four fish up to just under 38 common. What a fantastic mega lake. Well, I hope you enjoy watching this. I've loved being here, even though we went through Storm Franklin. I think that helped us in the end. But we're off home now. If you're down here, and I'm here, mine's vanilla latte. Thank you.